Hi, this is John with Computer Pro, and I am talking to you on Saturday, May 2nd, 2015. I'm actually going to do two videos in a row. I normally don't do it for months at a time, but I'm going to do this because I think they're both kind of necessary. Um, first off, uh, I want to talk about the CNET website. CNET uh, is also part of Download.com. Well, Download.com is part of CNET. Now, CNET is a website that does various things. It has all kinds of reviews, and they have subject matter on all kinds of electronics, TVs, anything you could possibly imagine. They've been around for years. Uh, they're owned by a company called Ziff Davis, which is a publishing company, and, and Ziff Davis was around long before the Internet. They still print Mac World, Mac User, PC World, and PC User, and they're basically a publishing mouse. Well, they started CNET, which was their electronic version, basically when um, the internet started to hit in the mid 90s and then they started a website called download.com now download.com for people who don't know it uh, is a website where you can go obviously download programs uh, they have all the new stuff out there a lot of it is shareware uh, shareware being programs that you can uh, either try free for 30 days and then you have to pay for or sometimes they give you a limited version that can that can do a bootstrapped version of what the full program can do and then in 30 days you can pay for it and then they also have freeware which is things that are positively free um, well over the last few years um, well, probably even a little bit longer than that a couple of things have happened uh, first off a lot of programs now uh, whether they're legitimate or not legitimate um, when you download freeware you have to be careful what you download you can't just click through and let it install because if you do what ends up happening is the way the freeware supports itself is it installs other programs take for instance a really popular program like CCleaner which cleans out all the junk file files on your computer and fix, um, get rid of registry entries that are no longer valid CCleaner is a great program to use but you have to watch it when you install it because uh, if you don't and you don't pay attention and you don't already of course have these programs installed uh, you uh, will get uh, uh, Google Chrome and Google Toolbar and the, uh, on your computer and that's if you skip through real fast and what happens is you'll, you'll, you'll click once it'll ask you some options about installing and then you click again and then there's a little bit of delay and a box pop up saying hey do you want to install Google Chrome and Google Tubor and I obviously I click no I don't use those programs and any kind of toolbars uh, on a computer or on a um, on something like Firefox or uh, Internet Explorer tend to slow the load up of those programs so I, I don't use them and I use I'm a Firefox guy and that's what I prefer to use um, so you get these add-ons now here's the main thing and this is what's been really disturbing to me over the last year and a half or so and I've been meaning to post about this and haven't and I decided to today because once again something happened that I feel it needs to be brought to people's attention is over the last year and a half a lot of times and not but not all the time when you go to download.com you look for a program you want to install and you click on downloading it you download their installer program first and what happens is it downloads a little thing with a green icon with some arrows pointing downward white arrows and it's the C, it's the down it's the CNET downloader and when you do that uh, then you click on that and you can install the program but then it too tries to install programs beforehand and you have to be really careful with that you have to decline programs and and sometimes you just completely miss it it's things like spigot or search protect which I consider search protect spyware I see it all over the place and I don't like it and it's basically a junk program that's put on your computer well CNET is doing this through their website download.com to increase their revenues and yet they supply you know they they have all these links to to basically programs that will remove it but it's just not right um, this happened to me again today uh, it act, I actually installed the program that I didn't need to and, and I'm a computer technician and then the pro and here's the other thing that happened the program I tried to install which I needed a program to make receipts with 
um, also install some other programs that I missed. And again, it was very convoluted. I did see it, and so I missed it. And the thing with that is not only now is, is CNET download.com, uh, uh, the majority of the time, using their downloader to download the programs. And again, you click through, but then you have to start hitting decline, not to accept the other programs at the end. If you want to save the, pro the actual program itself, you hit uh, save for later, or then it will install it, and it will end up in a temp folder. But so now you're faced with two problems. You're faced with the CNET download.com installer that tries to install programs. And then you're faced with the other program, which was a free program for receipts that I wanted to use that try to install pro that try to install programs. And the other issue I have with that is it installs some programs that are considered spyware. And CNET or download.com is no longer apparently vetting these programs before they do it. Um, so I would just at this point, I would tell people, stay away from download.com. You can read the articles. You can look at their most popular downloads, which are in the top right-hand side of their page at download.com, and it gives you a good idea what programs are about. But use an alternate download site. There's ones like Two Cows, which is T-U-C-O-W-S, that doesn't do that. And there's another one called File Hippo, F-I-L-E-H-I-P-P-O, that doesn't do that. And these are just as legitimate sites. They're not as popular as CNET and Download. But for them to be doing this type of thing is absolutely ridiculous. They shouldn't be doing it. They should be more interested in what the consumer wants. They make plenty of money. They have plenty of other revenue streams out there than trying to make money off us by uh, installing third-party programs and making revenues off that. So, again, my best suggestion to everyone out there is CNET and Download.com are great for reading reviews. And see, that's fine because you don't download stuff off it. But their their download arm, which is download.com, is no longer good for downloading programs. You can definitely read about the programs there because one thing that's good about it, you can look at the star the stars the editors gave them and the stars that uh, users can give them. But don't download from them anymore. Go use an alternate website. Again, two cows, file hippo. Maybe you have one out there that's great. Uh, you know, post it in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it, but unfortunately, they've taken a turn for the worse, and I would strongly suggest people stay away from it. Have a great day.